Hello, welcome back to Definitely Not Developer Commentary. I am Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. And uh, we're going to now keep going forward in Ratchet and Clank. Uh... Rift Apart. Rift Apart. There we go. Uh, we're heading to Xerxes, yeah? Yeah, we're heading back to Xerxes. Run through a few uh, arena challenges, just a pro forma sort of thing. And given that he's a pacifist, I'm sure everything is going to go super smoothly. It seems Runs like he's the only one in his there. family, too. Yeah. All right. It's time to fix the Scar Stu Debris Field. I wonder how Rivet's doing. There is a, uh, there is like a, a, a ratchet planet name uh, formula. Yes. Uh, you know, like, I, I don't know if I could quantify it, but Star Stu, that's really definitely in line with the Ratchet and Clank formula. I, I I think it's very adorable how nervous they all are that they're going to uh, be meeting each other for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's very cute. <laughs> he is friendly, I promise. And once we build the Dimensionator, he will help us find Doctor Nefarious. Right. Guess our adventure's coming to an end, Bolts. You wow, that's, that was a short game. <laughs> I think what's very interesting is uh, when you deal with a character like Clank, who is kind of this nerdy kind of thing, it's very easy to fall into the trope of making them very socially awkward or whatever. <laughs> but as they established very early on that Clank is, that Clank is very uh, socially savvy. <laughs> and in fact, a bit of a ladies' man on top of it. Like uh, uh, Secret Agent Clank, yeah. for example. Uh, which I think is an interesting facet to Clank's character. It doesn't get explored a lot, but it's always there under the surface. He is usually more socially capable than Ratchet. Yeah. In a very weird way, yeah. Ooh. I like the name of that. I like the look of that. That looks like a rocket launcher. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of bolts. What? That is an explosion and a half right there. I'm definitely going to be doing these arena battles to get uh, bolts for this. I think it's crazy that an NPC can just walk between. Yeah. Like for, on the one hand, that is actually kind of immersive. And on the other hand, it's like, get the fuck out of my way. I'm buying something. Which is kind of immersive. Yeah. Well, you're going to need to get uh, a bolt or two. I'm, I'm, Wait, I, I mean, I'm going to have to... I'm, I'm eager to go back to my actual playthrough where I have so much money <laughs> and so many upgraded weapons. Uh, and then you're going to be handing this subpar playthrough to me yeah Thanks, well no man. you're gonna go back to your game oh you're gonna go back to your game and you'll have nobody to blame but yourself but myself. <laughs> for uh for how that played wait works. that's not how i wanted it to be i, I want to be able to blame you here. what's this oh there's yeah there's just a info bot over here <laughs> spy bot were secret agents. That all looked like a grind rail up there. I thought for a second it was going to shoot you oh. out and you'd be grinding around on that. That would be cool. Yeah. <gasps> what? <laughs> In fact, I am beginning to like my new look. For the record, I found him like this. Come on, <laughs> I knew you wouldn't hurt Clank. Pretty sure you're me, after all. Wait, what makes you so sure you're not me? <laughs> I mean, come on, I... Uh, uh... You got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Rivet, this is... Kit, I have been looking forward to meeting you. Um, me too. <laughs> I suppose it is time to fix this mess. <laughs> I love that he just pulled it out. Yeah. The same way that he normally pulls out guns. And nobody's just like, where were you keeping that, Ratchet? The answer is... It's, the, it's <laughs> bigger than he is. <laughs> like, it literally is larger than he is. I do love, though, that we have an in-fiction reason for that. 
right? It's nano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. But my answer was always, oh, he puts it the same place Superman puts his street clothes. Thank you. Oh, this isn't good. Doctor Nefarious. Does this dimension love me or what? My problems deliver themselves right to me. How many times you beat this guy? Clearly not enough. Can I try? Be my guest. Oh, I like that. What are you doing? Rivet is not fucking about. Ooh, a nefarious fight. And you get to do the I am certainly fight. gonna have a lot of opinions on this one. <laughs> I'm sure that our viewers will enjoy you having opinions. I mean, first off, are there enough purple and black? I mean, attacks? that's it's gonna. You got to do purple and black. So far, just green. Yeah. The well, no, there, he's got the he's got the purple portal things. Yeah, he's got that purple cloud. I like the orange and black sword. Thought that was cool. Yeah. All right, let's throw out this guy. What? Oh, what? Oh, you're getting hit is what's happening. Whoa. That was kind of awesome. That was crazy. My spine. I like I like this dimension jumping boss fight business. not talking because I don't want to throw your rhythm off. Oh, I'm, I'm also I'm, worried it'll be really boring. I'm doing okay. Oh, I should have gotten the life before this happened. It's gone now. Oh. Oh, Gruntor. Didn't we kill you earlier? Maybe it's another Gruntor. Yeah, I think that's the name of like the species or something. Oh. Uh, You're just chatting. I love Dr. Nefarious so much. He's great. Absolutely great. He, he's definitely... Oh, wait. That's not Whoa. great. He's definitely my favorite Ratchet character uh, before Rivet. Now, now Rivet's my favorite Ratchet character. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get back to the ricochet because it was doing so good. Look at all those rockets. Am I out of ricochet ammo? I am. Right, let's try the drill hounds. Oh. He's so far away. We'll get closer to him then. He was way off and over the ocean. Well. What's wrong with you, man? Don't you fly? All the cool people are flying. I do love that he has the uh, the Iron Man shoes. Yeah. Like, that was always our solution. Uh, when it's just like, okay, we need a boss, and he needs to get somewhere where you can't hurt him for a while. Yeah. So that he can just unleash stuff you need to dodge. And it was like, okay, just make sure to put some bones at the bottom of his feet. And uh, and we'll just we'll put some particles under there and bam, we're set. I imagine it's a little harder these days because you gotta you gotta come up with animations that all work well together in the air. But 
still a good solution. Absolutely. Is this like drill hand ammo that I can't pick up? What is this? Why can't I grab this? I don't know. Alright, let's just use other weapons to get this taken care of. Because I am basically out of ammo. Uh oh. I don't want to go to the heart of a supernova. That doesn't sound great. It seems like I wouldn't live if, I, if that happened. Hey. Ooh. Come on, Ooh. man. That was not fair. Coming from off screen? Alright, and then let's get this guy out. Oh, he's got the little shockwave bombs. Okay. Feeling a little better I, now? I appreciate that he's got the shockwave <laughs> bombs still. And it, I mean, they it, they still have the reticle missiles. They're just slightly different, which yeah. is you know fine. All right. It's I do like that he comes up and hits you. Yeah. It's, it's it's real easy to get bosses that sort of stay far away all the time, and you never get to come face to face with them. I right, come on, man. It does seem like what are you supposed? Oh, you're probably supposed to use the dodge ability. Yeah, I, he's. I've not. I haven't quite figured out the telegraph too well, so he kind of just gets me, but he's almost dead, so I'm just trying to... There, we there go. you go. Alright, game over. I think beat the, the boss. The problem I always have with bosses is that I get so focused on, like, dodging and doing it right, that when they get low on health, you don't just, like, kill them. Just take the like, last Like, oh, I'm shots. just gonna get a little bit of health left and make... But when they're at, like, 2%, you should just, just murder them. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, he's white! <laughs> He's like an I iPhone version of the first. Yeah. All right, what's his voice going to be like? <laughs> well, what a battle! Is he British? Uh, he would almost have to fun? be. Come on, give it up for Rivet and her first victory. I wish I could have been here sooner. However, I am thrilled to announce that I've finished neutralizing my enemies. <laughs> With the exception of Captain Quantum. And... Anyway, when I heard that the Rebel Lombax was battling me, I had to... Come here, the universe celebrate your defeat? Who was celebrating? You mean that... Yeah, that, that body language. He just leans his head a little bit. It's like... He's clearly a different character. It's really interesting. Let me help you wipe them out. Ah, my, um... Strange fan wants to assist. <laughs> Tantalizing. Why don't we make this interesting? A home game, perhaps? It's going to Sargasso. I have to get there first. How are you going to get there first, Rivet? He teleported. Quantum. He is the last rebel on that list. Go to Ardolis and find care. He'll take you to him. Wait. If we are going to face the Emperor, we should gather as many resources as we okay, can. Okay, now I remembered I did You're play right. a little bit more than Maybe just to Zerkis. Gotcha. Uh, did you want to do some... Uh... Uh, let's, do, let's do a little bit of Arena and... Uh... Let's at least go into the beginning of the next. Uh... It's uh, you keep going, but yeah, it's... yeah, you're the console. Yeah, okay, is. yeah. Let's see what they got at the arena. I like that fight though. It was a good nefarious fight. Yeah. So you, you who, so whichever uh, designer and programmers did that, yeah. uh, you're you're gonna give them the thumbs, thumbs up from up. the original good job. nefarious. Well uh... done. Good. All right. What what do we got here? Like Four thousand volts. Is that a lot of bolts? Seems like a lot of bolts. I need fifteen thousand to get the all right the rocket launcher though. Well, one step at a time, right? Oh, is this like a wrench upgrade thing? Oh, I probably need the the freeze the freeze weapon to do that one. They have different. Oh, I see. There, yeah, there was a gun that I didn't buy that freezes enemies. Oh, what's that? I imagine that's the Mangler. The Mangler. 
Okay, I'm in. I'm intrigued. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. All right, hold on. The mangler. Okay, I, I does what it says on the tin. Yeah, I need to. I need to pay attention. All right, let's do this. I should probably keep the mangler in my uh, in my view. Oh. Uh, I wonder if the mangler hits enemies too. It, well, yeah. I mean, it, it killed does. the it killed the pirates. So I mean, yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah, it'll. Okay, okay. yeah, it, it does take them out. But uh. <laughs> what was the name of the? Oh, the B two brawler. Yes. For some reason, this reminds me of the B2 Brawler. 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 I, always, I did always like the uh, the big arena bosses that were in there. They were always very fun, and they always had a lot of character. I especially like we got to cut a promo for a couple of them. Yeah. Chain Blade. Oh. These uh, these always did feel a little pro wrestling, which I think is a great vibe. Yeah. I I will say, uh, counter to one of our earlier episodes, I have very much come around on the ricochet. I actually do really like the ricochet. I yeah, like. I see you using it a yeah. lot. What is it? Just because you don't have to look at what? I don't you're... know. I, I just learned how it works. I learned the timing and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's got it's colorful. It makes a good, fun sound. Yeah, what, the sound what, comes really well. What more the can you ask for, too. right? Jeez, these guys are right on me. That is the Zircon promise. Well, that's interesting. Mr. Zircon said, I can't think of any pirate puns. Or Mr. Fun Guy said. Uh, that's, that must mean he has different quips depending on which enemies you're fighting. Mm. Another thing we wouldn't have had the memory for back in the PlayStation 2 days. We did not dedicate very much no. <laughs> space to audio. Although I guess that could have been streamed, right? Yeah, possibly. Even so, we did occasionally run out, run out of room on the disc. And by occasionally, I think I mean every time we made a build. Right? Yeah, I mean those DVDs were not uh, particularly big now in retrospect. <laughs> they felt big at the time. Yeah. What are we gonna do with what was it six gigs? Oh, that was that you felt really good. Should have been hit by that. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I think it was because you were in your dodge, it didn't hit you. Oh, Which that's right. I got I'm the buzz sure you, I'm sure you saw that and knew it was going to happen. Hold on, I should be doing this correctly. Let's see. Uh, can I not fix my quick select in here? I'm not sure where the quick select fix is. It should be right in here. But I guess while I'm in this... You can press X to remap it. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so I want to move the uh, buzz blades onto my front instead of that. And then that, now, I'll, now I'll actually use them more. Yeah, the uh, having the radial menu is really nice because you can get random access to the weapons easy. Yeah. But it you really can't have any more than what they've got uh, on one screen. Right. Then the the sensitivity, like if you make the pie slices any smaller, the sensitivity will not be will not. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like oh, the, I think if I beat this, then I'll have enough for the rocket launcher. So let's do this, that's and I'll good. go buy the fun rocket launcher. The warmonger. The warmonger. There has to have been a warmonger <laughs> already. In you my, would think. Like what? It seems like with all of the weapons that have had to be named in this franchise, Warmonger would have come up at least once. Oh, I I guess I get to play with a Warmonger in this challenge. Well, that's handy. Okay, so I get to see... Ooh. 
That's uh, Zerky's way of, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, previewing the weapons. So yeah. You'll want to buy it. Jeez, come on. Get back up. Oh, they can climb. That's not good. Oh. Pathfinding. That's a, that's a hell of a thing. Yeah. The web, the enemies really stick to you though. They like once they're on you, like they are, uh, they are hard to shake. They, yeah. Usually we would have them move a little slower than you, so that you could at least get away. They, in, at least the arena enemies seem to be really wanting to be on your ass. Let's pick up some ammo. So what do you think of the warmonger? I, I mean, it's a rocket launcher, which means it's great. The rocket launcher has always been, you know, a necessary part of Ratchet's arsenal. Yeah, since the first one, the Devastator was, uh, like, you, you literally needed it to progress in the game. Yeah. Which I think might be one of the few times we've ever done that. Or, Jeez. You know, Ratchet, like in a tutorial maybe, but that wasn't a tutorial. That was the second to last level. I need some health here. Health. Health is for the weak. Oh, what a well-timed level up. You you knew that was going to happen. That's why you were talking. Yeah, I was about I was absolutely watching my experience bar, <laughs> as any you got, a, uh, you got a trophy as any experienced ratchet player would do. What did that trophy do? Oh, I don't know. I have to go back and look. It was just a bronze trophy, so I don't think it was anything particularly <laughs> special. You gotta have bronze trophies though, so that the gold trophies feel great. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's another weird thing. Like last time I was talking about how those having that, that monster destroy those bosses yeah. gave you a sense of how powerful it was. Uh, we had that problem on everything. Uh, I was gonna say on Ratchet, but like on every game I've ever worked on. Like right. how do you make something feel big? Right? How do you make something feel fast? Right. Uh, how do you make something feel powerful or like it's all just compared to something else and so uh it, that that works in rewards too right you need to have some rewards that it's just like oh it's just a bronze trophy yeah so that when you get the gold trophy it's like holy shit i got a gold trophy uh or like i, I remember reading an article once where someone was writing about how you need to have bad cards in a magic set because otherwise, if you make all the good cards, some of those good cards are still going to be bad. Right. Right. Like so, you need you need the bad cards in there that are only useful in very rare circumstances, so that the good cards matter. Right. Uh, but it's it's weird because it's all well, when you're talking about a video game, it's all it's all uh, arbitrary, right? Like, uh, it, let's say that there was no environment around. Right, and I put a character on the screen, and I said, "This character is huge." You would say, "How would you know?" Right, because there's nothing else on the screen to compare right. it to. Uh, and then even sometimes when you've got stuff like, uh, "Oh well, compared to this other creature, it's very big." Like, I don't know how big that creature is. Right, you put a little right. tiny car next to it, and it's like, "Oh, I know how big a car is. That thing's huge." Right, so right. like it's all. It's not just comparing to what the player sees on the screen. You have to give the player things that they know how big those things are so they can compare it, like a tree. or like So if you're trying to do like a giant robot fight, a lot of the selling the giantness of the robot is selling how small the environment is. Right. If you want something to go fast, uh, like you have to have the thing go slow at some point so that you know it's fast. Right. And it has to be fast compared to the environment. Right. Things have to be whipping by real fast. It's, uh, 
surprising amount of making things in a video game is comparing them to other things so that you know what it is. And I'm sort of fascinated with that idea these days. Yeah, it's 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 very interesting. Um, just the, uh, I mean, it's it's the problem. Like to your to your point, it's the problem that you always want to that you always have is everything needs to feel. You want everything to feel grand and epic and awesome and amazing, mm-hmm. and uh, it's difficult to a- ever actually convey that. And you, you really have to like learn the skill of like balancing things out. I'm actually amazed that I finished that challenge. <laughs> For a while there, I thought it was going to fail. Were you on the ropes? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it got hairy there for a while. But uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste time on the on the podcast. But we have to remember. There's a magic thing I want to talk to. Nobody. Nobody who's listening to this is gonna care. But I want to talk to you about a magic of the gathering okay. thing. All right. Uh, at some point when we're off this, I'll remember that. Uh, but I think I now have enough for the warmonger. Oh shit. Oh, look, there's a thug playing the arcade game. Oh, yeah. They went from scissors, paper, rock to so an arcade So I guess that's game. supposed to be Captain Quantum, I guess, right? Because that's... Uh... It's interesting because Captain Quantum has a different colored uniform. Oh, interesting. Uh, so that act, that looks like Captain Quark. Right, but he but Captain Quark wouldn't exist in this Exactly, dimension. yeah. Maybe... Uh, Maybe it's a different green suited. So I heard an Easter egg, and I, I don't know if you saw this, but I heard this an Easter egg. Is this sheep? Is <laughs> somebody? Do you know who this sheep is? Who is the sheep? All right, let's see if we can. Somebody got sheepinated. F- the gallery. It should be here in the gallery. Oh, there it is. The sheep had a stool reserved. <laughs> Oh, really? Because <laughs> that happened in the movie. It's pretty funny, right? So in the alternate dimension. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's good. Whoever that's put good. that in. It's I'm... a really, really subtle thing that they put in yeah. here. Yeah. And just in the last line, too. Yeah. Like just, uh, oh, that's great. Uh, that is a good joke. In this universe, he's not dead. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was very shoot. funny that they're, they're a very very deep cut Easter egg, but uh, <laughs> props to the team for putting that in. Yeah. In the in the reboot, right? Like, isn't that what happened? Uh, yes. The various shaped him. Yeah. I suppose that's better than Ratchet, who blew him up along with his entire manufactured <laughs> planet. Uh, so the freezer pop. I wonder if that would give you the freezer like you got the warmonger. Uh, I'm fine. I, like I said, I just wanted to get the money for the warmonger. So I feel good about that. Got it. So then we're looking at a short episode this time. Yeah, very quick nefarious fight. A uh, couple of quick arena challenges. Going to go buy the awesome rocket launcher. Not for the dimensions falling apart. Or... The Emperor has always been a threat to our universe. We must get the Dimensionator away from him before we have no home left to save. Make an entrance with the bombardier, guaranteed. Oh, okay, hold on. A bomb club. There are so many enemies. Have no fear, little Zergon. One of the other names the on that hit list. It is not your fault that they were captured. <sighs> oh, okay. It's like a mini turret kind of thing. Oh. Okay, I think I still want the warmonger. So sorry, Bombardier. You got the bowl, sugar. You can't Treat ever yourself. not have the rock launcher. Yeah, now you've got two. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, and then Bombardier or the Warmonger. That's gonna replace uh Yeah, let's replace the Shatter Bomb. Well, if it is you here for weapons or ammo, and I'm betting both. Like, I'm still thinking about what we were just talking about in terms of the, like, you only know how powerful something is based yes. on something else. That's why having these movies that explain the weapons is so important. Because, like, the otherwise, the only thing you have to tell you how powerful something is is the cost of it, mm-hmm. right? Which doesn't actually give you that much information. Uh, and so you can watch the video and be like, oh, this does this thing, 
So I value it more highly than, say, a weapon that might cost less, right. which is basically what just happened. Uh, whereas, like, if, it, if all I was getting was the prices, I'd have to say, well, I guess I get the one that costs the most because that's probably the best. Right. Whereas they were just two, two very different things. Uh, and so now, I think this is where you left off, right? Or you did a little bit of the next I, level. I got to Captain Quantum. Okay, so I think that's a little bit... Uh, do you know how much... Do you remember how long this next section was? It's a full-on level. Oh, okay, it's a full-on level. Yeah. Okay. So we can cut this off here really short and sweet, nice All and right. quick. Well, it's been good talking to you, Tony. It's been great talking to you, Mike. Uh, so this is for definitely not developer commentary. Uh, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time. See, I got it right that time. I yeah. I totally screwed up like I did the time before.